tomatoes right here. Yeah, so we're going to talk about these tomatoes, though, because Not looking if you good. look closely, and I think uh, our director, Max, has a shot of one. There's these, like, vertical cracks in them. Yeah, it's a hot mess looking at these. And it's these are from your from my garden. backyard, right? Yeah, and it, my problem's been these big ones. So these big ones, can you see that right here? Look at those cracks. Yeah, that happens to me once or twice every year, but this year, I swear, every single one is coming off the vine like that, and I just wanted to know why. So we're going to have so now. We have Karen Cackley Dutt on from Penn State Lehigh Valley. You're a tomato expert, so to speak. So Karen, you got to tell us. You got to figure out why Drew's so upset with his tomatoes. Well, Drew, I hate to tell you this, but it's a weather issue. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> he didn't see it coming. It is. When tomatoes grow in weather that's been dry, like we had at the beginning of the summer, and then when they are supplied with abundant water, those plants are going to suck that water up. And then what happens is it's kind of like when you have a um, Thanksgiving dinner and you eat too much and your pants are still the same size. <laughs> And the skin on that tomato cannot keep up with the expansion of the interior of the fruit, and it literally cracks open. And so what you're seeing on those tomatoes that you have on the table are what are known as radial cracks. So you see these large cracks where the skin has popped because of all the moisture that's on the inside of that tomato. Um, sometimes you'll see concentric uh, cracks as well. Hmm. But on these large radial cracks, it's due to it being too dry and then this rapid influx of, of moisture. So I think what you're saying too, Karen, is uh, I didn't do a good job watering when it was dry because I didn't keep that soil consistent in terms That's of moisture. That's correct. The real key to preventing this as best as one can, although you can't always prevent it, is to try to maintain even moisture. So making sure that when it's dry outside, you are watering the plants consistently, um, making sure that you have abundant organic matter mixed into the soil, which will help hold that moisture. Uh, mulching is another um, thing that will help, you know, keeping a layer on top of the soil to prevent excess drying. Um, and then really, when you know that a lot of rain is coming, um, such as we just had, um, is to, if you have plants that are, are or fruits that are near ripening, um, go out and just collect them. They will ripen on the uh, counter indoors or in a windowsill, um, but get them off the plant before this happens. So hey. all is not lost, I understand then, with these tomatoes. Sure. So you can take these, put them on your windowsill, and how long should you wait before well, you want to let them ripen, but you've got to watch because if anything starts, if you start to see the cracks beginning to show signs of rotting or insects getting in there, and again, that's important. You, any fruits that look like the ones you're showing on the screen right now, you want to make sure you get those off of the plant because um, you're going to attract all kinds of flies and ants to those mm. and they will get in there. But, you know, those fruits are perfectly fine if you just chop, you know, cut that top off. You can use the bottom parts for your BLTs and everything else you want. But this is one of the um, characteristics of those tomatoes that are the big beefsteak kind or a lot of the heirloom tomatoes. So the bigger the fruit, the worse the problem with cracking because they are so large and the skin tends to be thin. That's a good point, Karen. My plum tomatoes have had no issue this year, and I really like that recommendation. Pick it early because I can tell you what, all my green ones, they haven't they haven't cracked yet. And I guess you said that's because when tomatoes ripen, they start cracking because the skin no longer expands with the tomato. Like like, you know, Thanksgiving dinner, your pants aren't expanding so much with your stomach. Yes. And then they just get to the point where it can't take it anymore. So if you've really had consistent problems with it, growing um, cherry tomatoes, plum tomatoes, grape tomatoes, those don't have the issue. It's the big fleshy tomatoes that everybody likes for sandwiches um, that are the problem. But if you just are gonna grow them for salads and sauces, um, plum tomatoes and cherry tomatoes are great. Well, Karen Clackley Dodd, thank you so much for joining us. You never knew there's so much to know about tomatoes. Thanks again. Thank you. Thanks. Have a great day. Now I want a crazy salad. Oh, that sounds good. Right. I'm in. Tomato, basil, a little mozzarella. A little fresh vinegar in there. <laughs> Sonic. Mm. Be right back.